COVID-19 and the post-COVID-19 situation led to increased cases of GBV that led to psychological trauma, human rights violation, behavioral and physical consequences, negative social and development impact for survivors, the family and community. Our idea is unique because it focuses on the prevention of GBV from the grassroots level, focusing on our target beneficiaries from the most remote areas where most cases of GBV occur with the inclusion of people with disabilities, refugees, host community and teenage mothers. It incorporates creative arts in communities' institutions through performing art like drama, cartooning, which accommodate the elite people with disabilities, and radio awareness programs for mass awareness. It also integrates social, economic, and livelihood empowerment through entrepreneurship and financial literacy training, which is important in transforming the gender and power relations and ends GBV caused by financial imbalance. To improve GBV case reporting and referrals, we shall provide mobile phones for our trained community ambassadors and local leaders. We shall scale up the project and expand the scope to ensure that it reaches other areas and it covers GBV risk mitigation, research, and resilience building. Know and measure the success of our idea through enhanced behavioral changes, community resilience, and systems to prevent and mitigate gender-based violence, reduce vulnerability of community to GBV, enhance GBV awareness, case reporting and referral channels, enhance gender mainstreaming and GBV responsive activities in community and institutional programming, increase community GBV responsiveness and aiding pandemic recovery. We shall monitor the progress of our idea by ensuring beneficiary feedback using the feedback axis, where we shall engage them in conversations and surveys for impact evaluation. So I use the monitoring and evaluation framework where reports can be captured and shared. Then using the logical framework where that entails outcome, output, impact, our activities, budget, monitoring schedules, and established means of verification using the monitoring and evaluation result matrix. The resources required include human resources, which we can obtain through our volunteers and technical persons, financial resources, um, mobile phones for our local leaders and GBV ambassadors, financial literacy training and GBV training materials, establishment of GBV community free space centers and stationery. Our key partners include the National Society, local community, local government, police, judiciary, ICRC, UN women among and among others. We foresee the following as the next stage of our innovation. Increase multiplier effect on the campaign against GBV, sexual productive health and rights and gender mainstreaming. Enhance formal, psychosocial, medical and legal support to GBV response. Increase linkages partnership with other local and international implementing partners and stakeholders in GBV response and community empowerment. Spark further research in GBV to inform stakeholders' response policies and interventions. Give back to new GBV response approaches, and for example, relocation of victims, provision of shelters, and education support for victims, among others. We shall make this idea sustainable through ensuring community acceptance by inclusion of at various stages of project implementation. We shall cluster our beneficiaries in two groups where we can register them at the brand's S link so that they can get more support and easy follow-up. Ensuring monetary uh, benefit realized from entrepreneurship projects, offering a revolving fund for sustainability, strengthening capacity and of stakeholders and beneficiaries by ensuring strategic framework and blending with national society operation, dissemination of project information and building linkages for partnership. is in line with URSC's strategic plan 2021-2025 integrates in the Department of Health and Social Services. A restoration of family link response for refugees by ICRSC that's ongoing in Uganda and our branch in Adumani. Similarly, it integrates well with URSC's core program and intervention of supporting communities for resilience and dissemination. We foresee a possible challenge of risks at different stages of the project implementation e.g. weather, to which we shall adapt to through using a comprehensive risk mitigation strategies, for example, rescheduling activities to meet beneficiary needs. Inadequate financial and training materials, which can be addressed through developing locally need-based training materials, lobbying from national society, IFRC, ICRC, and other implementing partners alongside blending with existing partner programs. Language barrier resulting from the vast tribal and cultural diversity can be adapted through using our local trained community ambassadors using their native languages. 